Welcome to Movies We Love. In this video we will look at a classic sci-fi thriller entitled, The Thing. Warning. Spoilers ahead. It's winter in Antarctica. We see a helicopter frantically flying after a husky. The passenger uses a rifle to shoot at it, but when that doesn't work, he begins dropping grenades. The dog makes a beeline for the approaching American research base called Outpost 31. They look on very puzzled as the two men excitedly exit the helicopter. The other man continues shooting in a frenzy and babbling. No one can understand a word he says. When the man shoots an American in his left leg, Gary, the station commander, shoots and kills the man in self-defense. It's quite puzzling as to why these men would fear this dog so much. The team's helicopter pilot, McGreedy, and their doctor, Copper, go to the Norwegian base to investigate. They find signs of fire and explosions, which have destroyed the entire base. Everyone is dead. They find one of them had barricaded himself in the radio room, his wrists and throat were slit in an apparent suicide. As Mac and Copper explore further, they find a large block of empty ice. What it was used for, is a mystery. Outside in the snow, there's the charred remains of two human bodies along with a burnt corpse of an unrecognizable creature. It's not human, but doesn't look like any known animal either. The men bring it back to their own base for examination. They stare, in disbelief, at the smoldering bloody mess. They have never seen anything like it. The twisted creature seems to be contorted in agonizing pain. Resident biologist, Dr. Blair, performs an autopsy on the remains, but finds nothing other than an ordinary set of organs. That night, the team locks that stray husky in a kennel with their sled dogs. However, the other dogs greet it with fear and constant growling. Suddenly, the new husky transforms into an alien creature, and uses its tentacles to attack the other dogs. In their panic the dogs even try to chew through the chain-link fence of the kennel. The dog's handler, Clark, hearing the mayhem comes to check but can only watch in horror as it happens. When Mac hears the ruckus, he immediately sounds the fire alarm to wake up the entire camp. They quickly run to the kennel where they see the creature consume the other sled dogs. Mac fires a shotgun at the creature, but it seems to have little effect. It continues to consume the other dogs. Part of the creature then separates from itself and heads into the ceiling. The crew shoots at the thing with their guns before turning their flamethrower on it.
Blair does an autopsy on this thing's remains. And learns the creature can reshape its body to replicate any animal or person it kills. Using information from the Norwegian base, the crew learn that the Norwegians uncovered an ancient ship buried in the ice. McGreedy and Palmer fly to the site to investigate. Sitting in an open crater is an alien spaceship. The men rappel down for a look. When Mac asks Norris how long the ship has been there, he replies that it's been there for at least 100,000 years. That evening, as Blair studies cells from the creature, his computer reports that there's a 75% chance that the alien has already infected one or more team members. Furthermore, if the alien reaches civilization, that creature will take over the Earth's population in exactly 27,000 hours after first contact. In the storage room, Windows and Bennings prepare the remains recovered from the Norwegian base for safekeeping. But the remains quietly come back to life under a blanket. As Windows returns to the room, he finds the creature attacking Bennings with its tentacles. Windows runs off to alert the other team members as Bennings escapes through the storage room's window. By the time the crew catches up to him in the snow, the alien's transformation is nearly complete except his hands, which are hideously large. Mac and the rest of the crew burn him alive. Dr. Blair cannot come to terms with the possibility that this creature could take over the world if it got out. He snaps and goes on a destructive spree. He takes out the surviving sled dogs, and destroys the helicopter and communications equipment. The remaining crew are now trapped, without any hope of rescue. The others subdue him before locking him in the camp's toolshed with some heavy sedatives. The next day Nalls comes back to the camp. He's almost frozen to death and visibly upset. He tells the crew that McGreedy has now become one of the creatures. The crew lock McGreedy outside in the cold. McGreedy breaks in through the storage room window. There, he arms himself with a small bundle of dynamite before threatening to blow himself and everyone else up if they don't back off. Suddenly Norris collapses from an apparent heart attack. As Dr. Copper tries to revive him using defibrillator paddles, Norris's chest suddenly explodes with a monstrous mouth that bites off Copper's arms. McGreedy uses a flamethrower to kill the Norris thing. Only its head remains, which slowly separates from the rest of the body. It slides to the floor, then uses its tongue to pull itself away. It eventually sprouts legs and attempts to escape. The crew stare at the head in disbelief, until McGreedy torches it. With few remaining choices, McGreedy orders everyone to take one more test to determine who is and who isn't infected. Everyone must give him a blood sample which he will then poke with a hot piece of wire. He reckons that each part of the creature will try to survive independently. Therefore, the blood sample will transform to defend itself. He then ties up everyone, except Windows who helps him with the test. Windows goes first. He's still human. 
McGrady gives him another flamethrower in case he needs to torch anyone who might be revealed to be a thing. When he gets to Palmer and pokes the blood, it suddenly leaps from the dish exposing Palmer as a creature. As Palmer transforms, McGrady's flamethrower misfires. Windows, who is petrified, hesitates to kill it. That moment's hesitation is all the Palmer creature needs to kill Windows. Palmer's head splits open, and he begins to consume Windows alive. McGrady gets his flamethrower working in time to set the Palmer creature on fire. It then crashes through the wall where it dies in the snow. McGrady then blows it up with a stick of dynamite. Now that the thing has infected Windows, McGrady torches him too. We are now down to four remaining, uninfected crew members, McGrady. Nulls. Childs. And Gary. Greedy orders Childs to stay behind to watch the camp, while he, Gary and Nulls check on Blair to give him the blood test. They arrive to an empty shed. It seems Blair escaped through the floor. Down in the tunnels under the camp, Blair has been hard at work, building a small spacecraft. There's a moment of confusion when they spot Childs run off into the storm. However, when the compound's power suddenly turns off, they decide that Blair is the last creature, and it wants to freeze into hibernation since it has no way out of its current situation. With the realization that there's little chance for survival, the men decide to blow up the base to prevent the creature from freezing again. McGreedy, Nulls and Gary set fire to the complex using homemade Molotov cocktails. The men dive deeper down into the tunnels under the camp. They begin to plant TNT explosives throughout the catacomb. Gary runs into the Blair creature and is killed. Nulls, sensing something is wrong, investigates. He disappears and is never seen again. McGrady can hear the creature coming for him. It tunnels under the ground and is able to destroy the detonator. He soon comes face to face with the thing. It is grotesque. McGrady makes a last ditch effort to kill it with a lit stick of dynamite. McGrady barely survives. He stumbles to his ruined shack. Suddenly Childs appears. He apparently survived the explosions. Neither man knows whether the other is really the creature. As they both sit opposite one another, each man is ready to kill the other at the first sign of deception. While the viewer knows McGrady is not the thing, there's a hint that Childs might now be one. Both men take swigs from their respective bottles, exhausted from the ordeal. It's going to get very cold. The scene fades. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more movies like this hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Tell me which movies you would like me to recap in the future.